So ladies and gentlemen, please give your support to Simon Kelly. All right. I've, I've had the pleasure to present at a couple of different Amazon conferences virtually over the last couple of years. Um, but I love Singapore. I'm based in Melbourne, so I've been here half a dozen times and it's, it's lovely to be back. I'm really upset to be leaving tomorrow night though. Um, so basically, yeah, so I'm Solutions and Partnerships Manager for Channel Advisor APAC. I've worked with the business for around 10 years and I help brands and retailers plan what their cross-border strategy is going to look like. What they need, what, what data they need, what other partners they need to engage with and some things you need to think about. So, yeah, today's about how to manage multiple stores through Channel Advisor, but rather than just focusing on what Channel Advisor does, I'll be talking a bit about generally things that you need to think about when you're managing cross-border and managing multiple products through multiple regions. What I'm about to say is from um, my point of view and Channel Advisor's point of view, it's not necessarily Amazon's, um, and by all means, please ask questions as I'm finished. Uh, we're at Booth D in the Expo Hall, so we'd love to give you a demo and love to have a chat after this session. But also, there's not actually, there's not a whole bunch here, so if there's burning questions as we go, feel free. Put your hand up, uh, have a yell, and we'll see how we go. The idea around having multiple marketplaces, multiple networks, multiple countries is challenging now. It's challenging always, but it's challenging now because the consumer has so many different options. Whether they're looking at where they're finding product information, which, which marketplaces they're using, which fulfillment methods they're gonna focus on, where they're getting shop back, where they're getting kickbacks, where they're getting advertising through Google or Facebook or Instagram. And so part of your challenge as a retailer or a brand is how you present your product the right way for that consumer, no matter where they are. Because what I mean, hopefully, you're aware of this, but basically, more and more people are using multiple marketplaces. So 76% of global consumers are using certainly more than two, but often up to three, four, and five marketplaces to inform their shopping decisions. So that means whatever country you're going to be launching on, yes, Amazon needs to be a first port of call, but you need to look at more than that. You need to look a bit more widely. Because, again, how many people use more than two? It's the 18 to 35, right? That's the, that, that's the age group that's actually dominating and changing shopping behaviour. We can see a bit of a, a drop-off there with 46 plus. And, and, and the same sort of thing when we look at the global consumers that are actually purchasing from a foreign marketplace, it really drops off in that 46 plus uh, age group. And so you can certainly, from maybe the, the lofty heights of 18 months ago, we'll see some e-commerce softening a little bit. We're probably all sort of seeing that a little bit at the moment. As people start to move towards bricks and mortar, and we start to move towards a bit more click and collect. So depending on where you want to focus on, and most of today will be about, uh, about the US and about Europe. Um, I'm from Melbourne, Australia, so some of these stats I'll talk about Australia, simply to talk about the fact that things aren't the same everywhere. So when shopping online, which destination do people trust? And I wouldn't be talking in an Amazon conference unless I was going to talk about the fact that you need to make sure your product data is correct through Amazon. And so they, they use that for correct product information, to look at ratings and reviews. Um, in Australia and in different regions, that will be a different marketplace. Um, and in some cases, ensuring that same content is in a different format through your brand's websites or through social media is really important. Again, because people are looking at these products through different lenses and different areas. So the US and Europe have to be on Amazon because that's where they're researching products. But that doesn't mean you're going to ignore your listings through Google. That doesn't mean you're not going to actually start promoting your products or continue promoting your products through Facebook or Instagram or depending on what region you want to be going into, whether that's eBay, whether that's Lazada, or whether that's shopping. Because it takes more than just listing. It's not just about, okay, I've uploaded my content through to Seller Central and everything's just going to sell. 
Even if your product description's perfect, even if your images are amazing, it's not just about listing your products and, and just fingers crossed, hoping that it's going to be found. That was probably the case 10 years ago, but certainly not anymore. That is the first step. The first step is connecting, making sure that you can connect your products through one marketplace, but hopefully multiple. The next step is how you're going to be marketing. So how, do you use Amazon-sponsored brands, sponsored products? Uh, are you using uh, digital marketing? Are you using Google or Facebook or anything like that in conjunction with what you're doing through marketplaces? And the, the, the point of conversion is the most important part. The reason you're selling through Amazon is it's not, it's not to market, it's to sell, it's to convert. So how are you priced? How are you listing your products? How are you making sure, how's the content different in Singapore than what it looks like in the US, to what it looks like in Germany, or what it looks like in the UK? What fulfillment partners, whether it's FBA, whether it is a 3PL, whether it's a combination of those things, are you using to delight your customer? And then if you're not optimising, if you're not looking back to say, well, here's how my success has happened, or here's how my lack of success has happened, then, then you don't get better. So you need to be analysing your performance to figure out how to get better, min, min, little by little, as we go. And that's what Channel Advisor does. We connect with a whole range of partners globally so that we take one lot of product information in and we can share that with digital marketing channels and over 20 different uh, Amazon marketplaces all over the world. But today I'll focus mostly on marketplaces. And because, you know, we have over 360 different marketplaces we support all over the world. Of course, we look after digital marketing, feed management. And if you're a brand with your own brand, you might want to be looking at how to drive traffic through to a retailer's website or how to look at your digital shelf, track competition and those sorts of things. Uh, we're really proud to be in the top, um, for, the, for the top thousand retailers, the, the, excuse me, uh, for the IR top 1,000. We are the number one channel management vendor. We've worked with Amazon for, uh, for well over 20 years and work with eBay, Google, as well as some partners locally as well. Just some of the channels that we also support. So this is the one platform in, we can send data to all these different channels across the world. If there's other custom destinations that you have and other places that are perhaps missing from this, I'd be surprised if we don't have those connections as well. Because what we do is we enable our customers to scale. Over 2.5 billion products uploaded, uploaded per day on our highest days. And that's why some of these businesses trust us. So people like Crocs, people like Fossil, people like Razor, use us not to just list through one or two different marketplaces, but to list globally through Amazon. And, so, and part of what we do is we actually help you to go, all right, how are we going to increase your revenue? How are we doing A-B testing on your product title, on your description, on your images? How are we managing your cost per click through Amazon-sponsored products? And whether it's you doing it yourself or whether it's you passing that to Channel Advisor or passing that to an agency to manage it for you and knowing where your strengths are. And that's what Fossil uses us for. They use us to list through multiple different marketplaces and channels because it's easy. It's like once their data is in Channel Advisor, they, they can list through as many different channels as they want to and it makes it a fast route to market. Talk a bit more specifically about how we work with Amazon and, and a bit more about our history. So since 2004, um, we've supported their marketplace um, and as soon as things are added, so product ads, sponsored products, FBA, different fulfillment methods, Channel Advisors really um, followed exact, and we've taken Amazon's lead which means that as soon as Amazon changes its template or, or adds a new market, it means you don't have to change what you're doing. That's our responsibility. We work across the entire journey. So when you're looking at that, that consumer journey that we need to be focused to start off with, and I'm sure there'll be, if there hasn't been already, there'll be some talks on Amazon advertising. 
which I'd highly encourage watching. Um, you need to be across that awareness, that consideration journey, so how you're, how you're promoting your products and then how you're going to be able to deliver. And as I said, you know, over 20 different locales that we support, all from that one integration. Um, most of you are already selling on Amazon at the moment? Yes? Or, or everyone? Okay. And so these are, and you might agree, these are fairly common challenges on Amazon. How am I staying profitable? How do I adjust my pricing versus my competition, versus a, whether, whether you're trying to win the featured offer, or whether it's looking at other competitive SKUs? And then how to do that in an automated fashion? So you've got a, a competition set in Singapore that's completely different than the competition set might look like in the UK and completely different to Australia. So how are you going to be going, all right, how do I reprice? How do I track competition? And how do I make sure I'm sponsoring and building my, my brand in these regions in a way that's scalable? Because there are so many different sellers moving through Amazon. Ensuring that your price and your and your product information is A1, is correct, is crisp, is essential. But making sure you win that featured offer is also a massive part of it, right? Unless you're there, you're not getting purchased. It's part of, a big part of that decision, and a big part of what Amazon's algorithm will look like, of course, is through how you're priced. So either we can algorithmically reprice your products, be pricing up and pricing down to actually making sure you can win the buy box, or we can have that based on a rule. So that might be, here's my competitor, or here's a similar item that I want to keep track of, and I'll change my pricing depending on how that one changes. Or you might change your pricing based on sales velocity. So this is selling fast, I'm going to increase the price. This hasn't sold any items in 14 days, I'm going to slowly decrease that and maybe move that through a different channel so you can actually get more sell-through. Brands choose these reprices because they mean we add more GMV. We, means we, we increase the profit that they're getting because when, when we can increase the price, we do so. And it means that we can do this flexibly. So you can do different pricing methodologies through a whole range of different channels. And you can see that all through the Channel Advisor platform. Rather than having to log into different seller centres Rather than having to look at different, different reports or different areas, you can see this in the one place. So Razor uses us just for this, right? And, that, and, and they, they integrate with Channel Advisor and they sell through a whole range of different channels, um, mostly through end of stock and reconditioned items. So they'll sell their top level stuff through their own website and as soon as they've got too much, and, um, then, then they'll decide, okay, this is when we'll release that to different marketplaces. But as I sort of spoke about at the start, success through marketplaces is, is, is a visi visibility game now. It's not just about listing your products, it's about look at how much of the real estate is taken up with advertising and promotion. So in the past 12 months, you see that 42% of global customers have seen a marketplace ad on, or, or on a retail site, right? And you look at what that looks like for Amazon. Certainly in Europe and in the US, the percent that have purchased an item that they've seen that's a sponsored product. 45% for Europe and 57 for the US. Which means that if you're not there, you're not part of that consideration set. Because those that advertise grow 63% faster than those that don't. So if that's all the impetus you need in order to look at what you're doing through FBA or Seller Fulfill Prime, or making sure you're prime eligible so you can advertise, and that's what you need to look at. We know this because we're in the top 5% of Amazon Ads partners. And so we do millions of dollars of revenue and of, of spend through the Channel Advisor platform for, for advertisers globally. Because it's that advertising that builds, it's like the, the classic Amazon flywheel, it's this advertising engine that's going to build your business. So how you take your, your categorization, your titles, your descriptions, your branding, your ROI, and feed that into decisions about how you'll promote. Because then it makes everything easier. The more you're seen, 
the more you're purchased, the less you're paying for advertising, and the more reviews you're getting, and then that creates a flywheel. And then that's great to do through maybe one Amazon store or one Amazon region, but then you need to replicate that. How do you take the learnings that you've maybe made through Amazon and go, well, how, how do I do this through another marketplace? Or how do I do this through Google or Facebook? How do I take the different search terms I've got through a whole range of different channels and consolidate them? There's a whole bunch that Channel Advisor does um, to really aim and, and to, to support Amazon's sponsored products and sponsored brands. So there's a heck of a lot we can do in relation to manage, managing bidding, managing day parting or managing scheduling, which might be, I might focus on a certain period of time to go, all right, I'm a baby product and I'm going to concentrate my advertising spend between 8pm and midnight because parents are up and that's when they're purchasing. So I'll concentrate my ad spend there and not waste it in the morning. And seeing that ad spend and seeing that side by side with your GMV performance and side by side with the performance that you have in your advertising sales is really what sets us apart. Rather than just a listing tool or rather than just an agency or someone that helps, um, we help you to scale globally. Again, that's what, that's what a brand like Nubi uses us for. They increase their revenue because they go, all right, hey, Channel Advisor, you take care of my Amazon listings and we want to use you as an agency. You manage the advertising spend, you manage what we're doing, and, and we'll concentrate on sourcing product and making sure we can put product in the market so we need to expand on. People use our managed services because it helps you to scale. So if you're not sure how to, how to expand or you don't have eye, um, feet on the ground in Europe, we've got offices there. And um, we, we have got a great understanding in terms of what categories move, in what marketplaces, and in what regions. So that's, and that's where the name Channel Advisor really comes from, right? So if you're not sure which Amazon region to go with next, or you're not sure which market to go with next for your products, then that's information and that's help that we can give to help you to grow. So whether you're doing business through 1P, uh, whether you're drop shipping with Amazon, whether you're doing 3P and um, selling through marketplaces, or whether that's a combination of the two, we can help support you. Because we create a faster path to action. We can show you who's winning that featured offer, and when you're not winning that featured offer, why not? Is it Amazon? Are you not using FBA? Is it the lead time to ship? Is it your pricing? And then once you, if you are using FBA, what does that look like? How do we get analysis on... How, how long your products have been in the warehouse for and how you can shift that and maybe use FBA as a channel to launch on the different marketplaces or different regions. But proven tech, the whole idea is just to save you time, increase revenue, reduce the operational impact and do that profitably. Um, we're at Booth D um, in, the, in the expo hall. So um, it would be lovely to, uh, to, to show more of the platform and uh, but I'm more than happy to answer any questions anyone's got. Okay. Um, feel free to say hi later on. Thank you very much, everyone. Cheers. Thank you.